Okay guys, so you see how the earth is going downhill. So there's a low point here where all the water is collecting and going down. Then, they, then it goes uphill and downhill again. And over there is another low point where all the water from that field and this field and this field all converge down onto this point. So actually, there's a huge amount of energy circulating through the earth over here and following up and back down to this low point and you see the water's coming down downhill there's a huge amount of energy circling through the earth over here so I've connected these two points let's see what's happened so this is my first low point you can actually see where the moisture in the ground is accumulating and pulling down towards here. So this is my first point. Just a copper pipe rammed into the ground and wires connected to copper pipe. Okay, you can see the natural slope of the land again coming down and then coming back up, coming down from this hill down to this low point. Here's my copper pipe driven into the ground. Now I've got the meter hooked up. This is the wire that goes all the way back over to the other copper. Now this wire is connected to the meter. I've got it set on millivolts, 25.6 millivolts, just coming from the earth. Now I'm going to charge it up as a capacitor. The battery inside the meter is actually charging up the earth as a capacitor. Now I'm going to dump this capacitor into the resistor. Now that's microamps. You see the amps are dropping because it's dumping the capacitive effect into the resistor of the meter. And as the current goes down, the voltage is actually increasing. That's already 40 millivolts. So you can see that this is a good area, this ground. You'll notice down here in the ground you have baby nettle plants growing. Nettles only grow where there's a lot of iron so there must be a lot of nice minerals in the ground here and it's all draining down to this ditch over here this little creek